Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the solemnity of the birth of St. John the Baptist, the prophet of the Most High, who went before the Lord to prepare his way. The voice crying in the wilderness inviting us to make straight the path of the Lord. As we gather to celebrate this Eucharist, let us heed the invitation of St. John as we receive Jesus who comes to us in this Mass. Let us prepare the way of the Lord. Let us be sorry for our sins 
and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd, leading us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. Of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who raised up St. John the Baptist to make ready a nation fit for Christ the Lord, give your people, we pray, the grace of spiritual joys and direct the hearts of all the faithful into the way of salvation and peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O coastlands. Listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb, he gave me my name. He made of me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me. Israel, through whom I show my glory, though I thought, I had toiled in vain, and for nothing, uselessly, spent my strength. Yet, my reward is with the Lord, my recompense is with my God. For now, the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him, and Israel gathered to him and i am made glorious in the sight of the lord and my god is now my strength it is too little he says for you to be my servant to raise up the tribes of jacob and restore the survivors of israel i will make you a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I praise you, for I am wonderfully made. I praise you, for I am wonderfully made. O Lord, you have proved me. You know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journeys and my rest you scrutinize. With all my ways you are familiar. 
I praise you, for I am wonderfully made. Truly, you have formed my inmost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. I give you thanks that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. I praise you, for I am wonderfully made. My soul also you knew full well, nor was my frame unknown to you. When I was made in secret, when I was fashioned in the depths of the earth, I praise you, for I am wonderfully made. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Paul said, God raised up David as king. Of him, God testified, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. From this man's descendants, God, according to his promise, has brought to Israel a Savior, Jesus. John heralded his coming by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. My brothers, sons of the family of Abraham, and those others among you who are God-fearing, to us this word of salvation has been sent. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. You, child, will be called prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the time arrived for Elizabeth to have her child, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy toward her and they rejoiced with her. When they came on the eighth day to circumcise the child, they were going to call him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said in reply, No, he will be called John. But they answered her, There is no one among your relatives who has this name. So they made signs, asking his father what he wished him to be called. He asked for a tablet and wrote, John is his name. And all were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened, his tongue freed, and he spoke blessing God. Then fear came upon all their neighbors and all these matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. All who heard these things took them to heart, saying, What then will this child be? 
for surely the hand of the Lord was with him. The child grew and became strong in spirit, and he was in the desert until the day of his manifestation to Israel. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, the solemnity of the birth of St. John the Baptist is normally celebrated on the 24th of June. But this year, since the solemnity of the most sacred heart of Jesus also falls on the 24th of June, which will be tomorrow, the solemnity of the birth of St. John the Baptist for this year is moved a day earlier. That is why today we are celebrating this great solemnity of the birth of the prophet who prepared for the coming of the Lord, St. John the Baptist. And our gospel today fittingly narrates to us the birth of John the Baptist. And when John the Baptist was born, people asked, what will this child be? And we know the answer to that question. We know the mission of John the Baptist. In our second reading today from the Acts of the Apostles, we heard that John heralded the coming of Jesus by proclaiming a baptism of repentance. That was the mission that was the role of St. John the Baptist. He came before Jesus in order to prepare the way of the Messiah. He was like an advance party to Jesus. The coming of John the Baptist is a sign that the Messiah is now at hand. Dumating na ang advance party, ihahanda na ang mga tao at tiyak na lalapit na ang tagapagligtas na hinihintay. And John the Baptist was so sure of himself and of his mission. That is why when people asked him, Are you the Messiah we are waiting for? Ikaw na ba ang magliligtas? It was a very tempting question because John could have easily claimed that he is the Messiah and immediately people would believe him. Maniniwala ang mga tao sa kanya sapagkat marami ng sumusunod naniniwala at nakikinig sa kanya. Pwedeng-pwede niyang sabihin, Oo, oh, oh, Ako ang hinihintay ninyo. Ako ang tagapagligtas. Kaya sambahin, sundin ninyo ako. But John the Baptist knew his role. When he was asked, Are you the Messiah? In the words of our second reading today, he said, I am not he. But one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. As if John the Baptist were saying, I am simply the one who will prepare for him. I am not he. And when he finally comes, you follow him. Forget me. That is why when Jesus came, it was John the Baptist 
who pointed to his disciples, Behold the Lamb of God. My dear brothers and sisters, in a world where everyone is fighting to be number one, let us thank those who, like John the Baptist, are willing to take the supporting roles. In a world where all want to be in the spotlight, let us thank those who, like John the Baptist, are willing to be in the background. Just imagine what our world will be without people like John the Baptist who are providing support and encouragement, help and assistance, those who prepare the way for us. Sa araw na ito, pasalamatan natin ng Diyos sa mga taong katulad ni Juan Bautista na hindi nagnanasa na sila ang sumikat at umangat. Mga taong masaya na na tayo'y matulungang maiangat, na tayo'y maihanda sa tagumpay, mga taong sumusuporta at naghihikayat sa atin para tayo ang magningning. And if you are the one called to be a John the Baptist to others, if you are the one called by God to give support and encouragement to others, please do not belittle yourself. Do not think of yourself as insignificant. Huwag dating sabihin, eh nasa background lang naman ako, hindi naman ako mahalaga. Hindi naman ako ang sikat dito, nasa likod lang ako palagi. Huwag nating maliitin ang ating sarili. Dahil kahit nga sa pelikula, hindi magiging bida ang bida kung walang mga supporting roles. Kaya binibigyan din ng award yung mga nasa supporting roles dahil magniningning ang isang bida kung magaling ang sumusuporta sa kanya. Kadalasan walang fans ang mga nasa supporting role, yun lamang bida. Pero hindi sila magiging bida kung lahat bida. Magiging bida ang bida dahil may mga sumusuporta sa kanya. Let us not belittle ourselves if we are called to remain in the background and provide support for others to shine. Because that is a very noble role, a very noble mission. Let us not even think that we are useless. In our first reading today, the servant of the Lord said, Though I thought I had told in vain, toiled in vain, for nothing, uselessly spent my strength, and yet my reward is with the Lord. Kung minsan akala natin parang wala namang saysa yung ating ginagawa, napapagod lamang tayo, pero hindi naman tayo yung sumisikat at nagtatagumpay, Sabi sa ating unang pagbasa, ang ating gantimpala ay nasa Panginoon. Because to lift others up is itself a reward. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, let us thank God for the many John the Baptists in our life. People who help us people who support and encourage us, people who prepare the way for our success. But let us also ask today for the grace to be a John the Baptist to others, 
to people who might need our help and assistance, to people who might need our support and encouragement. That is a noble mission. And let us thank God for the privilege to lift others and to make others shine. Even if that means we will remain anonymous and in the background. Please stand. Let us all together profess our faith. I believe, I believe in, in God, God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and, earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, Lord who was, was conceived, conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. John the Baptist was called from the first moment of his life to announce the coming of the light to the nations, the hope of the world. In the joy of this feast, let us make our prayers to God. For every petition, let us say, O God, be gracious to us. O God, be gracious to us that the Church may be strengthened by the Holy Spirit to proclaim the message of salvation to the ends of the earth. Let us pray to the Lord. O, o God, God, be gracious, be gracious to, to us. us. That the leaders of nations may be instruments of truth and justice and lead their people in the way of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. O, o God, God, be gracious, be gracious to, to us. us that we may come surely to the end to which our faith leads, the salvations of our souls. Let us pray to the Lord. O oh God, God, be gracious, be gracious to, us. to us, that the poor and the suffering may take fresh heart in the promise of Christ's glory. Let us pray to the Lord. O oh God, oh God, be, be gracious, gracious to us, that the Lamb may take away the sins of the faithful departed, let us pray to the Lord. O oh God, be gracious to us. In silence, let us pray for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who need our prayers and all the intentions offered in this Mass. Father of time and eternity, you search our hearts and discern our needs before we ask. Aided by St. John the Baptist, in your mercy, hear our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. 
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We place these offerings on your altar, O Lord, to celebrate with fitting honor the nativity of Him, who both foretold the coming of the world's Savior and pointed Him out when He came, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In his precursor, St. John the Baptist, we praise your great joy, for you consecrated him for a singular honor among those born of women. His birth brought great rejoicing, even in the womb he leapt for joy at the coming of human salvation. He alone of all the prophets pointed out the Lamb of Redemption. And to make holy the flowing waters, he baptized the very author of baptism and was privileged to bear him supreme witness by the shedding of his blood. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. John the Baptist and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Lord, you have known the 
its meaning true and full. You are with me beyond my understanding, God of my present, my past, and future too. Please stand. Let us pray. Having feasted at the banquet of the heavenly Lamb, we pray, O Lord, that finding joy in the nativity of St. John the Baptist, your Church may know as the author of her rebirth, the Christ whose coming John foretold who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. <laughs>